The wife of a Kansas City firefighter has raised $50,000 to not only keep her husband safe, but all Kansas City firefighters. Yeah, the money will go to these machines you see right here, which remove toxins from gear. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post talked with the woman about her mission. If they don't take the proper steps to clean their gear and clean their hoods and wipe down their body, that those carcinogens just absorb into their body. That's the reason yeah, Don Eddings sure is raising money for 21 extractor washing machines. Her husband Joe has been fighting fires 22 years. New studies continue to link fighting fires to cancer, something KC Fire knows all too well. They found the spots of cancer all through my midsection and it ended up being I'm in my lung, my liver, my spleen, and then spots up and down my vertebrae on my back. This interview was taken before beloved battalion chief Tom Byrne lost his fight with cancer almost a year ago. Right now, firefighters believe half a dozen are fighting the disease in KC. It put preventative measures in place over the summer, including wearing a mask at all times, cleaning gear, not bringing dirty equipment into living areas, trading out hoods, showering or using a wet napkin, and washing their uniforms. There's usually stuff lined up uh, by the day. About 1,000 firefighters are using 12 machines. They can fit a couple bunker gear sets in each. The commercial washers have special settings to remove cancer-causing toxins. As much as it can take the heat and fire uh, going into a burning building, uh, hot water, uh, damages and, and jeopardizes or breaks down the integrity of the fire gear. Eddings has a GoFundMe set up. Right now, they're short about 131,000. She says crews risk their lives daily, so she'll continue her fight to bring the machines to every station in KC. They need one right there to where they come back from a call, they throw their stuff in the extractor, wait for the next call, put their clean stuff on. Belinda Post, 41 Action News.